Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? It is a battle report, one of the rare ones that I am putting together here, and uh, we're going to be doing a little more Marvel Crisis Protocol today. Uh, in the background, you can see my partner in crime there, Troop. Yep, there he is. And we are going to be practicing uh, safe filming in this one, so my mask is going to be going back on right after this introduction because we are still in the middle of a pandemic. But anyway, we are going to be doing a 17-point uh, threat mission for Marvel Crisis Protocol. I'll be running the Web Warriors. Troop is going to be running the Criminal Syndicate. We're going to go take a quick look at the forces involved and then at the map and then get going. So we got my Motley crew right here, and as I said, I'm running the Web Warriors. So we got the Miles Morales Spider-Man. We got uh, Spider-Gwen, or Ghost Spider, or whatever you want to call her. I, I always like Spider-Gwen. The big beefy boy Venom in the back there. We got Daredevil Help in the mount. And then we got, the uh, sadly, an unpainted Punisher. Uh, but that is going to be 17 points, or 17 threat for, uh, for my team. And uh, going to be interested to see how this goes down. And across the way, Troop is going to be running his own beefy boy with Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin, doing the Criminal Syndicate. Uh, and along with him, he's going to be bringing Bullseye, the Winter Soldier, uh, Killmonger, and Crossbones. So he's going to be working on some board control there, but he definitely has some good punch to his characters. So we're going to see how well each of us uh, square off against each other. And we got the board. So we are going to be doing the uh, two core scenarios, so extremist consoles and the struggle for the cosmic cube. So everything is laid out here. So we can go pick up these cubes to uh, get some uh, extra uh, victory points as well as some uh, power in the power phase. And then we can control the extremist consoles for some points or maybe heal ourselves up uh, by interacting with it in, the, uh, in our own phases. So there is our table. So we are going to get everything set up and get going. We got everyone deployed here. So we got uh, my line of web warriors just kind of matched up here, looking at the criminal syndicate across the way with Kingpin right in the center there. And then uh, we got Winter Soldier, Bullseye, Killmonger, and Crossbones. So I do have priority for this round, so I'm going to be taking the first go. I'm going to start off with just moving uh, Venom up, and he's just going to do a move move and just get uh, nice and close to this token here. And then he's going to spend his one power to pick up the cube fragment. And we got Crossbones going to be moving up. Got a game plan here, just going to... Just running in, copying what you're doing. Yeah, well if I could hit the one cube fragment, you can definitely hit yours. And you going to pick it up? Yeah. All right. And I think I'm going to have Miles just kind of roll up next to Venom here. And uh, just help him out. Try not to knock things around there. So he's not within the uh, contesting range of that console, sadly, but you know, he's getting We got the kingpin rolling up now. Is he just gonna sit on the extremist console? A little bit more movements. All right, just getting up there. Okay. And then uh, Frank Castle here is, he's actually just gonna go up there and sit on this objective. Uh, he doesn't really have much else I'm gonna do with him this turn. Also moving up to uh, secure a nice old Cosmic. Piece of the cosmic. Cosmic Cube. The Comic Cube. The Comic Cube. Yep, there we go. Just had him behind the sedan there. And the Man Without Fear is just going to roll up here. And uh, I was hoping to get within range of an attack into Bullseye there, but I don't have enough power to do that. So he is just going to roll up and take that objective. Yeah, Killmonger now. Killmonger. Uh, mongering some killage. Well, not yet, but anyway, he, he will be, I'm sure. He's, he's mongering it. He's just not yet receiving it. He's so. like a fishmonger, but for kills. Yeah, yeah. And Spider-Gwen is just going to move up the table here, and she's actually just going to end her turn. I don't think I'm going to pick up the Cosmic Cube Fragment, because I don't know if I want to be taking that much damage yet, um, but she's going to sit next to it behind cover. And Winter Soldier, she's going to roll up and uh, assist Bullseye here. Gonna take a quick look. And just down a range of bullseye, or of bullseye, of daredevil there. No, nope. just gonna go around and, uh, mm, nah. yep, all right, looks good. All right, and that looks like that is the, uh, the end of our uh, turn, so we're gonna go through the cleanup. And in the first turn, we are both at three points as we uh, uh, go into the next turn. I'm gonna start off by activating uh, Spider-Gwen here, and she is gonna use her web line on Killmonger, who is within range four. So that's gonna be a two power move. And basically, uh, I'm gonna be forcing Killmonger to advance short towards, uh, uh, well, he's just going to advance short, uh, closer to uh, some of my guys. 
So Killmonger is now getting nice and close to my forces, which is good because Venom is right there. And he's looking hungry. He's looking for some snacks. Then she's just going to move up a little bit to get within range two and then use her spider technique against Killmonger. This is a strength of four against a defense of four. And I'm looking at uh, two crits here. So I got explodey dice. So I got a total of three hits and uh, you're looking at uh, defenses, not hits. Crits? Uh, nope, that's just a regular hit. Oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah, that's a regular hit. So you got yourself two defense. So one damage goes through. And then as part of that move, because she advanced this turn, she is going to get to move uh, her long distance away. And she's just going to run over to this console or this uh, cube fragment over here. Bullseye is going to activate and throw something against Daredevil. So we got, what, one wild there? Okay. And I got a wild, a hit, and a skull. Now the Web Warriors allows me to actually reroll a hit and a skull. So I'm going to just reroll one die and then reroll a skull. So I'll just reroll those. So I'll have two wilds. And I think blinks actually count as something for me. Uh, yeah, blinks are added to my defense roll, so I actually have a defense of three in this case. Perfect. Well, but you do have the wild. I have a wild, which means you get a bleed. All right. And uh, I am a bullseye, so I never miss. Take a damage. So gonna do a damage to me regardless. Yeah, that makes sense. And bullseye liked it so much, he's gonna do it again against me. So once again, we got four dice. So we got, uh, let's see, crit, skull, hit. So he's gonna get to uh, roll another die for, um, for that crit. So we got two successes and I'm gonna have one, two, and then one reroll for web warriors. So two, so no damage at the moment unless uh, he wants to make sure I he never, never miss. So he's gonna do another one damage to me. Miles is gonna pay two power and he's gonna use his web swing. So that's gonna allow me to place him anywhere within range three of his current location. So I'm just gonna get him over to there. So that is his power. But then I am going to move him and get him very close up here. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Just gonna move him right over there and uh, I'm just gonna have him go to town on Bucky. So because I'm doing a web line kick after web swing, I do have an extra two dice here. So it is gonna be uh, six dice. Yeah, six dice against uh, Bucky. Looking for a wild to throw him as well. So I definitely got my wild, got two skulls, which are nothing, and then not, nothing. So I got three damage and a wild. And Bucky is gonna get blocked two of them. So it's gonna be one damage and I'm gonna toss him some. And we're just gonna kick Bucky back there, force him to move if he wants to go after Daredevil. Although Miles is now in perfect shooting range as well. So he might take a little bit of damage. So Killmonger is gonna do a Black Ops strike against Miles and I definitely overextended here. So this is what, seven dice? Seven dice. All right, so I see uh, four hits, one of which is a wild. Okay, so I'm going to defend against none of that. I get, no, I'm not on an objective, so I don't get to reroll that. But I think, I think it's my spider sense. Yep, my spider sense, uh, I can reroll two of the dice. So, so, okay. My hubris is gonna come back and bite me there, so I'm gonna take four points of damage on uh, Miles, which uh, is almost gonna daze him. And as part of the move, what does Killmonger do? Just gets to be placed. Within range one. All right. So next up, we got Vibranium Weapons at Miles. So okay. five dice. Plus two for already attacking. All the right. Same model this turn. All right. My, my hubris is getting the best of me here. So you got one exploding dice there as well. Okay, so again, it's going to be four hits. Um, I'm going to be dazed one way or the other, so it doesn't really... Oh, actually. Ah. Uh, uh, one second, so I get one reroll. No, and then I get to add a crit roll there. Okay, so there was a chance, but it did not happen. So Miles is going to be dazed. So with that overextension, i got to change my game plan a little bit here. Um, so instead, Venom is actually just going to roll up here, uses two actions, and then a, uh, a power to pick up another uh, Cosmic Cube freak. Crossbones is going to activate, moving up four, and I'm guessing I'm seeing a charge coming. This is uh, overpower. Overpower against Venom? All right, I like this. Crossbones is going to try and overpower Venom here. And I'm just going to go for some snacks. So let's see, I see uh, three successes with a wild. And I got uh, one crit, and uh, I get a reroll in here. So I'm going to re-unroll the crit and the reroll at the same time. So I'm going to defend three of that damage. And as part of it, he gets to be placed within range one, which Venom is just pleased as punch about. I'm gonna activate the Punisher. Uh, as much as I wanted to sit on that objective, I am actually going to spend two power and I'm going to advance him short. 
so I can get them within range of crossbones there. And then I'm going to light up crossbones, I think. I'm then going to hip fire against crossbones here. So I got my four dice against your four dice. So I got myself uh, one, one explodey hit. So three hits total. And what do we got over here? We got a defense of one's defense and two rolls. All right, so two damage is still going through, but I think you have an ability that allows you to, um, oh, one damage, yeah. Okay, never mind. So that's kind of unfortunate. Thankfully, however, I have rapid fire. So I basically get to make that attack again. So we're doing this again. And this time I got two hits. And I see, uh, okay. Yeah, just rub it in a little bit. And as much as I want him to uh, keep firing in there, I was just hoping to do a little bit of chip damage there, which did not happen. So Frank is actually going to use his second action to just move back here and take that objective again. Kingpin, he's just gonna waddle forward. I shouldn't say waddle, he's 350 pounds of pure muscle. And he's just, okay, so he's gonna hurl a car. And who are you hurling the car at? <laughs> Venom. Okay, that sounds about right. So a sedan size only is only going to deal three damage against Venom, but I do have four defense here. And we will get to re-roll uh, another crit there. And that is enough to uh, save the damage. And since that was not an action, he has one more action going. So he's just going to beam Venom. And this is not good because that's probably going to be an energy attack. It's an energy attack. Yep. Four dice. Yep. And... Uh... Yeah, four, it's... Four dice of hurt for three power? Yeah, uh, for, for zero power. For zero power? Shenanigans! So that's going to be two damage with uh, an exploding crit. So we're looking at three damage here. So I am going to block one. And now I do have an objective. So I do get to reroll that skull, thankfully. So I will take uh, two damage total. In response, though, Venom is just going to look at Kingpin and go, So many snacks! and do a symbiote tendrils against him, which is going to be a strength five attack. My five dice against Kingpin's four. So I'm going to get three hits and I see two crits. So, you know, might get lucky here. One damage is going to go through and a bleed token is going to go onto the Kingpin as well. I did want to do some Devil's Deliverance with Daredevil here, but that is not in the cards. I'm just out of range. So instead, I'm just going to throw my baton at uh, Bullseye here. And this does ignore line of sight as well as cover, so no bonuses for that. So I'm going to get a whopping one damage that does not go through. And there's no wild, so there's no throws. So I'm just going to use my other action to do this again. That's much better. A wild and two damage. And two go through. And I'm going to uh, opt to uh, push you short. Now, sadly, from my understanding, uh, collisions are not caused by pushing them. So I'm just going to push him back into... Uh, uh, Bucky. And as part of it all, Bullseye is going to do a parting shot against Daredevil to do one damage against him, and then he's just going to advance away short. And Daredevil is going to spend one power to interact with the Extremis console there just to gain one life, health back. We got to do some rewinding here because it actually is pushed towards. So Bullseye was right there. Um, yeah, yeah, what the hell? We'll push him towards. You still going to do parting shot? Parting shot. All right, where do you want to go after that? Just gonna wander over there. All right, fantastic. Bucky got to get back into the game, so he's just gonna move up one and probably shoot at Daredevil or oh, can shoot at Spider Gwen. Yeah. All right. He's coming at me. So I see uh, one explodey hit there with a wild. So I got three defense. We're rolling one. And oh boy. Okay. So I'm gonna take some two damage here. So Bucky's going to get two damage, or sorry, two uh, power in. He's going to damage me for two and uh, going to put a bleed token on me. But I think that is the end of the round. Going into the next turn, uh, we're going to actually activate Miles first. And he is going to use his uh, web swing to place himself within range three because he needs to get out of dodge here. So I think what we're going to do is, yeah, we're just going to place him over to there on the other side of crossbones and uh, then figure out what I'm going to do next. Next up, I'm going to spend three power with him, and we're going to do a Venom Blast against, uh, against Crossbones here, which is a uh, uh, energy attack. So I think you still have, uh, oh, you have your two defense against my seven dice here. So hopefully this hurts. And that was not great. So only two damage uh, with two defenses. 
Now, the important thing here, though, is that as part of Venom Blast, uh, after the attack is resolved, the character drops all objective tokens they are holding. So that uh, Cosmic Fragment is no longer being held by Crossbones. And then I think what Miles is going to do is he's just going to rock out over here and take that objective for his last action. Killmonger. He's going to be using his charge ability. Okay. So he gets to move. Yeah. And then he gets to do an attack. So you're targeting, what's the range on that attack? That attack's uh, two. All right. So I am going to quickly use Lifesaver with, uh, with Ghost Spider at this point because Venom is within range four. And it's two power, and I'm going to push Venom towards uh, Gwen, okay. uh, short, and you know maybe get lucky and get on a range. I doubt it, but who knows? So Venom is just going to end up right there, yeah, and he's on a range too. So a little dejected, uh, dejected Killmonger is just going to move over there. And does he have any power to pick up the, no. the cube? No. All right. So that is going to end that activation. Going to activate power-rich uh, Venom here. And for two power, we are gonna use a web snare against crossbones. And we are just gonna bring him medium towards me. Whoop. Like so. Then we are gonna do We Are Venom against uh, crossbones here. So this is gonna be a seven dice physical attack against crossbones' four physical defense. Uh, I'm just looking to gain some health back here. Uh, so two explodies. So not too shabby, actually. That's a total of five. And I see one defense. One defense goes through. So uh, that's going to be a total of three damage because Crossbones just... Oh, wait, do you have the power to do that? To do Crossbones' damage reduction? Yes, one. All right, so three are going to go through, and I'm going to regain three health. Next up, we are going to do a Symbiote Tendril against Crossbones. So this is just going to be a damage five attack. And that is going to be a total of one exploding crit. So two damage total. And you are going to block it, no problem, but I am going to cause bleed on that crossbow. Crossbones is now going to activate, spend uh, some power. How much for overpower? Two. Okay, and he's going to try and overpower Venom. Verse four, so I see uh, two successes, and there's one crit there, and I get to uh, re-roll this because I have an objective in my thing here, so there's going to be two defense right there. And then he does get to place himself, and uh, it's starting to... Yep, there we go. Beautiful. And for a second action, he's just going to shake off bleed. Next up, I'm going to activate Daredevil, and I'm going to just try and take off that last bit of health from Bullseye there. So I'm going to use his uh, regular strike here, and we are going to cause a whole oh, five points of damage and a stun. And yeah, that is enough to daze Bullseye and cause him to drop anything he's holding. There's the cube going down there, and I saw him reach for some power on Bucky. Uh, and he's got got your back. Whenever an allied character is dazed or KO'd by an enemy effect, this character may use its superpower uh, when that effect's resolved. It may make an assault rifle attack against the enemy character that caused the effect. Well, damn. So we got four attack dice coming in here, and I see four hits. Okay. And I got uh, I can add blanks to this as my defense. So there's one defense, and I get to reroll one. Oh, okay, so I'm going to take three damage there, which I think, yeah, that is actually enough to uh, daze uh, uh, Daredevil. And Mr. Fisk is just going to walk up here, and uh, we have a prepared beam here, and he's doing it in such a way that yeah, we've already checked. He can do what, what he wants without hitting crossbones there. So it looks like uh, Spider-Gwen and Venom are going to be taking some uh, beam damage here. Starting with Venom, we got four, so two damage. Oh, I get to reroll one of those, thankfully. Now then, so I'm going to take two damage on Venom. That is going to give Venom enough power to do so many snacks, which he'll do in just a moment, but we're going to resolve it against Gwen first. So four against three. So I see uh, one crit and one hit, so two damage. Oh, and she's not sitting on an objective either, so she's going to take two. After that attack resolves, I'm going to spend two power with Venom to do so many snacks. And I'm going to attack uh, Kington there with a Symbiote Tendrils for five, uh, five possible damage. Physical. So that's going to be three damage. And I see three block, four blocks. Okay. But at the very least, ah, uh, you haven't shaken bleed yet. So that is inconsequential. And Fisk is just going to uh, pay one uh, power to pick up the cube that was dropped by Crossbones and finish his activation. 
So Gwen is actually just going to move up a little bit to get within uh, range two of, uh, of Bucky here. So she's just going to move up to there to get within range two. And uh, then I think we're just going to do a spider technique again. I'm going to do a spider te technique against Bucky here. So I'm going to get, uh, oh, one explode. So a total of three damage and one defense. So Bucky has uh, two health remaining, or sorry, uh, yeah, two health remaining at this point. And, and then as the next part of, uh, of Spider Gwen's abilities, she is actually just gonna use a long movement just to get behind there and behind cover. Bucky is just going to unload onto Venom. Three possible damage, and I am gonna defend one of that so far. I do get to reroll, so just reroll the skull because I can, because he has an objective. So that is going to be two, so one damage goes through. Just going to assault rifle in again. So I see uh, three hits there. And no defense so far. No defense. So I will take three damage. So that's actually going to put Venom at uh, a total of five damage dealt. So he has two remaining. Sorry, I stand corrected. He actually has one health remaining at this point. Going to activate Punisher, and he's going to fire into Crossbones. I'm also going to use two of my Punishment Tokens that I've accrued here to add two extra dice to this. So it's going to be six attack dice. Oh, actually, wait, hold on a second. No, I don't think I can. I can't. So Frank is actually just going to move up enough to get within range three here and hopefully keep him within, uh, within range of holding this objective. You know what? Frank is actually just going to sit on this objective a little bit longer. I want him to be able to do things, but he doesn't quite have the power to do any of his ranged attacks right now, which is really unfortunate. So that is gonna bring us to the end of this round. Priority is gonna shift over and we're gonna see what the score is. Going into the next turn, it is 11-6 for the Web Warriors against the Crime Syndicate, but there is still a lot of healthy looking uh, villains on this table. Uh, so we're gonna flip over the cards and go into the next turn. At the start of the next round, unfortunately, because Venom was holding on to a couple Cosmic Cube Fragments, he is going to take enough damage that he's going to actually uh, daze himself going into this turn. So I am missing Venom for the turn. Uh, the upside is that he's not getting targeted this turn. So I'm going to have him going into turn 5 at the very least. Bucky going to activate first. He's going to wander up, get close to Fisk there, and I believe you've got some shenanigans in mind. Yeah, range 2. Hydra Tactics for 2 power. And Hydra Tactics again to get nice and close to Miles there. What did Miles do to you, man? So we've got a Red Fury coming in on uh, Miles here. So this has been an eight power move so far. <laughs> and we have, ouch, okay. So I see uh, four hits right now, but two of those are crits. And okay, so only four hits. So I'm not doing so bad. And we are gonna get so far two or one defense, but I get to reroll these. Okay, so I'm gonna take two, three damage so far. So that's gonna put Miles down to uh, down to two. So that really kind of sucks. And part of this is you can push him away short. Yes. All right, so I was gonna push him away short. And now I'm gonna take an assault rifle to the face apparently. For no damage, woo! Okay, so Miles survives the churn. So as much as I want to activate Miles to protect him, uh, I'm seeing a chance to do some Devil's Deliverance over here. So Daredevil is actually going to walk off this objective, go over here, and he's going to be within range two of both Kingpin and, uh, and uh, Crossbones here. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, spend five power to Devil's Deliverance. Before I do the Devil's Deliverance though, I am going to use the Devil of Hell's Kitchen first. So that is uh, a character may immediately perform an attack action with a power cost of zero against an enemy character within range of two. Uh, if I roll any skulls, uh, I am going to take some damage myself, but I'm going to do that attack against the Kingpin. So five dice against Fisk's four, and I did get a wild in there, so two damage and a wild. All right, so you are going to block it, but at the very least, I'm going to stun Kingpin, so that is going to hamper his uh, defense generate or his uh, power generation. Next up is going to be the Devil's Deliverance. So I'm going to start with Kingpin here, so this is going to be six damage. There's uh, two crits in there, so oh, I'll just reroll that one. That didn't result in anything. Okay, so it's going to be a total of five damage. And I see two explodes, so three damage is saved so far. So two damage is going to go through onto Kingpin. Awesome. And then six dice going into Crossbones. Uh, that's not as impressive, sadly. That's actually really not impressive at all. <laughs> 
And yeah, that's defended. So that is highly unfortunate. I was hoping to do a lot more damage there, but you know what? Sometimes the dice just don't work. Now, as part of the attack, I still get to do some pushing. So we're gonna push crossbones right over to here. And we're gonna push kingpin. So he's basically just gonna go like that. Kingpin is gonna actually wander over after the totally ineffective beatdown Daredevil tried to give on him. And he's just gonna show him how it's done. Gonna give him a headbutt against Kingpin, or against Daredevil, sorry. So there's gonna be five dice. And I see uh, four so far. So a total of four. So I got three dice with some uh, blanks and rerolls here. So, oh, I'm not holding any objective. So I'm gonna take three di or two, yeah, three damage there. So that kind of hurt. And that is gonna send Daredevil boop, bumping into Venom there. And since Kingpin is still bleeding, the troop is just gonna opt to spend a power to avoid that damage. Frank is gonna spend uh, two power here, and he's just gonna use his uh, Spec Ops training to advance short. And uh, then he's gonna spend his next action to uh, shoot into uh, Crossbones there. And reading his rules, I just realized I should have been gaining a little bit of power for uh, Punisher's ability here, um, but, eh, well, it is what it is. Uh, he is going to then uh, shoot into a hip fire, into Crossbones. So there's gonna be uh, four physical dice against Crossbones' four physical dice. And I got one crit in there. So it's gonna be two damage. And one goes through. Does Crossbones have the power to block it? He does. I am gonna rapid fire though, so we're gonna do this again. And that's gonna be two damage again. And that is gonna be enough to block it, but Frank is gonna collect two power here. Troop is being kind to me. I did intend to use the punishment tokens on one of those, um, so it would have resulted in three more dice being rolled on this, and Troop is a scholar and a gentleman, so he's gonna let me do this. So it has to be done on the first attack. So let's not cheat and roll four. Which would result in, Ooh. oh, actually, oh. Which would result actually in a total of four po uh, extra points of damage, uh, which, so he's gonna take uh, three in total, which is enough to daze him. All right. So troops, scholarly, gentlemanly ship uh, actually allowed uh, Frank to take down uh, crossbones. And then he is just going to move back medium to sit on this objective because that is what the Punisher does in this game apparently is just sits on an objective and occasionally shoots stuff. Killmonger is going to go in and try and finish the job against Daredevil it looks like. So he's moving in and he's within range too. So there's going to be some hurt. So we got a Vibranian uh, attack coming in. So five dice. So I see, uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you get to reroll. That's at least <sighs> good. Um, okay, so only one damage. So Daredevil is quite happy with that, actually. I don't even need to roll that exploding uh, die because it's going to be three defense regardless. Oh, actually. Oh, oh, what sort of cheaty stuff did you find out? One energy. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm still, it, I, oh, wait. Yeah, no, it doesn't no, matter. I get to reroll. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. So. It doesn't matter. And I then can only get as to, the exploding I can only one. Get to two. Yeah, so I, I would get up to three anyway. So okay. So all, all things considered, it was it was a nice little gambit. Just did not quite pay off. Gonna activate Miles, and uh, I'm gonna spend two power to do a web swing, just to get him on the token right here. And he's still outside of the uh, the one range of Bucky, so Bucky's not gonna get uh, his reroll shenanigans. And I now have two wonderful attacks that I can put into him. We're gonna do a web line kick into Bucky here. So it's six damage because I did do the uh, the web swing. So I got a total of uh, one, which is terrible for six dice. No reroll. Uh, no, I don't reroll the attacks unfortunately. And you are gonna defend it. But before damage is dealt, uh, I didn't get a wild, so it doesn't matter. And just gonna attempt a web line kick again because there's nothing else I can do. I was banking on one power to do a venom uh, a venom attack, but yeah, well. Um, so there's my wild at least. So I'm gonna throw you before damage is dealt. So, okay, so I am going to deal damage, uh, one point of damage, and I'm going to toss him somewhere. So I finally got a throw in, and there's no targets I can actually throw him at, unfortunately. But I'm just going to send him back a little bit. So uh, Colin Farrell is going to pay an energy to pick up a cube fragrant, and he's going to walk up and sit on that objective. So because it is the crime syndicate, and he is... Oh, wait, he's not healthy, so he only counts as one. Ooh, I can take the objective. Amazing. He's going to do a throwing knife against Gwen, who is behind cover here. But I don't care. But you don't care. That's right. Your paper clip goes through cover. So uh, two damage. And I'm going to reroll that skull. Oh, I can't. She's not sitting on an objective. So one damage goes through to, uh, to Gwen in this case. 
It is bleeding again. Jeez, you just can't stop that bleed. For my final activation, uh, Gwen is actually going to use her uh, long range move just to get onto the other side of Bullseye here and within one of the, uh, of the token there. And then she's going to do a freestyle beatdown on uh, Bullseye, which is a six strength uh, attack or six damage attack. And then I get to throw you short, so I'm going to be throwing you into a, into a dumpster there. So, oh my goodness. Uh, I don't get to reroll that, but I'm going to use the skull for the, the exclamation mark. So five damage. So one explode. So four damage goes through onto Bullseye. And then I'm going to throw you into the terrain there, which is going to cause a collision. So that means Bullseye is going to take five damage this turn, which is enough to actually KO Bullseye. It's also going to destroy this piece of terrain. But my understanding of everything is because everything kind of resolves after the attack, he can still do his parting shot, is my understanding. One damage. So one damage into Gwen. But that is going to take Bullseye out. But Gwen is still going to take a point of damage for bleed as well. Because she is still unfortunately bleeding, but she's sitting on the objective. And I think that ends the charm. So we're going to take a look at the objectives and go into the next turn. Going into the final turn, the Web Warriors are up 14 to 7. So it looks like it's going to be a runaway game, but uh, Troop is never one to leave without giving a bloody eye to the person he's fighting. So we're going to see what happens as we go into the final turn. Killmonger going first, going to try and take out Daredevil. Vibranium weapons? Yeah, that sounds about right. So this is going to be five. Oh my goodness. Okay, and so I'm three wilds there. And so I got two blocks and I do get a reroll for Web Warriors. Three blocks. That, okay. So Daredevil has golden horseshoes, it seems. Frustrated, he's going to try it again. I don't blame him. So we got uh, three successes there. Reroll the blink. So three successes. So I got uh, one success and I can reroll one of these dice. Cannot re -roll I can't reroll the skull, so I'll reroll the hit. Uh, which is another skull. So I'm going to take two damage on Daredevil, which is enough to keep him up and running. That does mean I am going to be activating Daredevil, and I see another perfect opportunity for a little bit of Devil's Deliverance here. Just had to check to make sure I had the power. So he is just going to go right over here, and I'm going to spend the five power that I, have, uh, that I need to do a Devil's Deliverance. Starting with Bucky with his eight damage attack, I got, let's see, there's two crits in there, so... And, okay, so that's going to be a total of seven damage. Good grief. So he's going to block one of those. That is enough to daze Bucky. And that is also going to uh, throw... No. Oh, was Bucky already... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah. so that, that's just going to throw Bucky back a little bit there. And we're going to move on, and now we're going to do it against uh, Killmonger, I think. So this is going to be eight dice against Killmonger. And there's one explode. So that's going to be a total of six damage against Killmonger. And oh my goodness. So that is uh, no hits so, or no uh, blocks so far. Does he have anything to help him? That is enough to uh, uh, daze Killmonger. I'm just going to push him back into Venom there. And we're going to do this one last time against Kington. And oh my goodness, there's another two crits there. Okay, so this one wasn't as crazy, but it's still kind of crazy. Five damage against the Kingpin, and with only one block. And does he have any power to uh, suffer? No. So that's going to be uh, four damage going through onto Kingpin, that's which nice. not quite enough to stun him, though, or uh, daze him, though. And that is going to push Kingpin right back to here. And with that, Troop is going to uh, concede uh, after that incredible attack by Daredevil. I, I think that just makes sense. Um, so it is going to end the game with a Web Warriors victory. Uh, at this point, I would normally do the, uh, the handshake at the end of the game, but with it being a pandemic, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, just to quickly want to ask, is there anything in the game that uh, you would have done, Troop, maybe a little bit differently? Uh, that, that Daredevil finish was kind of kind of tough, so... Uh... Definitely uh, wouldn't bunch up against Daredevil. That guy, uh, he's got a pretty nasty attack. He definitely gets work done. I mean, I, I've been itching to use that ability since I saw it, and getting the getting actually three guys within area two uh, was actually very insane. Um, so yeah, that that was. 
I, I have to admit, it. I almost felt like a poor sport doing that as well. It wasn't. Um, it was never a, a problem with the attack. I, I just, uh, I was thinking you were getting a chance to hit a whole bunch of guys as opposed to, uh, oh, a bunch of extra power. So. Now I, I will say this. I think you were very focused on killing my team as opposed to going for objectives. And uh, I know in the previous games we've played, it's kind of almost been reversed. I was the one that was always going very killy, and you were always going objectives. And uh, that one actually benefited me very much in this game. My hope was in this turn to actually pick up all the cosmic cubes and knock you off of the other objectives. Uh, it required a lot of dice rolling, but it, where we were points-wise, I felt like it was the only possibility for victory. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think that was the path for you to force it into an, a final turn. Yeah. Because um, I think, yeah, because if you'd picked up the fragments right there, that would have been an easy four points. I think the big thing, though, is you would have had to knock uh, Gwen off her point. I didn't expect Gwen to kill uh, Bullseye. Bullseye. And that was that was probably the first uh, first step down my my rugged path. So she rolled very well. I mean, getting the four damage in there and then throwing you uh, throwing him into the dumpster for that last point of damage. Yep. Which was enough to just uh, take Bullseye out. Yeah, that was. That was a very fortuitous roll for me. And Miles surviving the Winter Soldier oh, in a clutch move. That goodness. was that was pretty pretty important for that too. So if yeah, if uh, if your gambit with the Winter Soldier had actually paid off, like I mean, that would have been I think at least two points that I wouldn't have gotten uh, with Miles right there. Yeah, yeah, and um, I think Winter Soldier kind of represents the the opposite of Frank Castle. I have to move into someone's position to really do a lot of uh, damage, whereas Frank's able to pop out get into someone's space, hit them, and then move back in. And uh, I think that gives him a lot of flexibility to, like he scored five points this game, no problem. He just, himself. yeah, he just sat on an objective. I think there was, what, three turns where he kind of spec ops off, uh, two or three turns anywhere, he, where he yeah. used spec ops, stepped off, made a couple shots, and then just used his other uh, action to move back onto it. Um, yeah. Like, honestly, like, he is a great defensive character in, yep. in that regard. Um, at first, I was a little upset that his hip fire was only range three, but honestly, I see why now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if he had a range four hip fire, that that would have been insane. Like uh, he could have reached down and just touched so many more things. Um, I have to say, I'm actually rather impressed with Kingpin. I am too. I, he he has a lot of different elements. The fact he has a beam weapon, the fact that he has a seven attack, close range attack. Is that his headbutt? That's no, that's hail to the king. Oh, you didn't get to use hail to the king. I, I spent too much time uh, mitigating damage oh, to him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, it uh, it's a it's a nasty attack too. But yeah, no, it's uh, I don't feel like I, I capitalized on illicit network as much as I should have because I was trying to focus on using uh, Winter Soldier's special ability to. Uh, shoot at people for hurting my friends, but uh, yeah. I, actually, that was a move that I was really impressed by, actually, when over here, when Daredevil uh, dazed uh, Bullseye, um, Bullseye yeah. and Winter Soldier then in turn dazed Daredevil. I, that was actually really nice. I, I wasn't expecting that, and I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, I actually also have to say with, uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about uh, Crossbones just not really having the mobility to do much. He made some distance there. Like, he yeah. made his way across the board there. Like. I, I don't know. I, I think there might be an argument to be made about crossbones. Yeah, I think if you compare him with another guy who's like suitably either able to do the same kind of engage moves, uh, if he can have a partner, I think crossbones actually has a lot of uh, a lot of ability to get there. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like I, I know we're going against conventional internet wisdom on this. Hey, one, hey, so. hey! With our our massive repertoire of games, I can't I can't <laughs> see how the internet could argue, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. We're on the internet too, therefore we're right. <laughs> And everyone else on the internet is also right. Yeah, that's yeah. how this works. Everyone is right. No one is wrong. We will fight you like a bear. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, anyway, uh, I, I have to say I really enjoyed this game. Uh, this this was actually our third uh, third round of the game. Uh, now, unfortunately, neither of us had tactic car cards because I was too silly to uh, to remember them. So that could have actually made a big difference there if Absolutely. we had access to the tactics cards. Uh, but all in all, I, I enjoyed it. it. It was kind of a fun, nice, fun meat grinder. And uh, Troop, I, I do hope that you'll you'll join me again for a couple yeah. more of these ones. Love this game. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a lot of fun. I uh, I definitely don't feel like I've sunk a lot of money into this for for no richer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been buying each one of these models as they come out. As, as I told my friend, for every hundred dollars you spend on a game, I have to give you at least one game. So we got a couple more at least. So. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So th there we go. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring a couple more to you uh, going forward, uh, among other uh, game systems as well. I know we've, we've talked many plans about this. So as always, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, all that sort of fun stuff. And happy.